food, drinks, the beach, check-in, the room entertainment, pools, the spa, and the gym. This is our official review of the majestic elegance in Costa Mujeres. We were just there. We spent three nights there. Our occasion was our one year anniversary, so that makes it even more special. It's a very romantic event. Getting to the resort is about a 35, 40 minute commute from the airport. We found our driver at the airport. When you land in Cancun, the first thing you have to do is you have to kind of get past all the riffraff. There's gonna be a lot of salespeople trying to sell you things inside the airport. Just move right past it, put your head down, walk right past them. And then as soon as you get out of the airport itself, there will be a lot of people holding signs. Find the person who is holding the sign that has your name on it or the name of the resort on it. We were very lucky. The resort had a service that takes care of the driver for you. I paid them a little bit extra. I paid them $60 to have a driver wait for us at the airport. But it was hard to find. It was more like our girl. We had like ask another guy to find our guy. I would say on a scale of one to 10, from the airport to the resort, getting there, I'll probably give it like a seven because our experience at the airport wasn't the best in terms of trying to find our driver. Even though the resort had a guy that was supposed to wait for us, what would you give it? Five. A five. Deal. Check-in. what do you think about the check-in process? Simple easy, less than 10 minutes. So there is a difference in the check-in process based on whether or not your family versus VIP. One of the things I was expecting and we didn't receive was a welcome drink. Yeah. The person who checked us in was super nice though. Yeah, I did like the wristband as the uh, card to the door oh. rather than having to have his user card. So the wristband was a nice touch. Check-in process, I started at eight. an eight. I've moved myself up to a nine. What, what do you think? Given family package, I'd give 10. Okay, 10. Okay, this is our first argument. We paid for a two-story room. The room was over a thousand square feet. The first floor was our bed, bathroom, and balcony and a day bed. Yes, they had a day bed in the room. Can't even believe I forgot about that. They also gave us complimentary bottles of champagne. Tequila. Tequila. And inside the fridge was also beer, sodas. Well, we pretty much drank the entirety of all the things they gave us for free. Cause why not? Cause Mexico. Okay. My favorite part of the room though, there is an upstairs that you can go to and the upstairs opens up and that balcony has another day bed, a jacuzzi on your balcony, on your rooftop that is private to you, overlooking the ocean. And the two couches. And two couches outside yeah. and the bed the outside. Table. We've stayed in Mexico before. The last time we stayed in Mexico was at the Hilton. I don't know, that room was like, that room used to be a 10, yeah. but now it's a nine. <laughs> To yeah. eight now. As far as the other rooms go, I think it's worth noting that this is a 570 room <coughs> resort. Some of the rooms have actual pools on the rooftop balcony. The price difference isn't really that much. It's actually very like remarkably affordable hotel. The entirety of what we spent on average was about 600 a night just for the rooms. That's really reasonable considering what we got. I give the rooms a 10 out of 10. Yeah. As soon as you check in, there is a QR code that you scan on your phone and then it opens up into a full list of things that you can do. Family things, kids things. There was so much live music. We saw a lot of live music. We got our dance on. There was a Bon Jovi tribute band that we saw. Uh, there was a mariachi band. There was a kayak tour. Fun party. Lots of dancing on the beach. If you want to be bored, you have to like go out of your way to be bored with the majestic elegance. Entertainment, honestly, 10 out of 10. Oh my God, the food. Breakfast is really good. Omelets are amazing. There's a crepe station. There's a mimosa and a Bloody Mary station for yourself to do or your waiter will get. Yummy desserts, chocolate croissants. I would say there's plenty of options for vegans, gluten-free, pescatarians, vegetarians. By the way, did you know there are eight restaurants at this place? Yeah, we didn't get to go to all of them. Damn it. All the restaurants we entered into, the first question they ask you is, do you have any food allergies or any food restrictions? Our first night, we went to a place called Don Jaumes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It could be Don Jaumes or Don Jaumes because the J can be silent sometimes. Jaume. Jaume. That's an H. Jaume. Don Jaume. Okay, so it's a steakhouse. That was our first night there. This is a very real review. They're not paying us to 
to give them. Ignore the shirt. You want it. Oh yeah, I want the shirt. <laughs> I thought it was like a legit steakhouse. We ordered martinis. I thought I thought all the restaurants were really good. Yeah. Um, there was a French restaurant. There was an Italian restaurant. Yeah. There's a Mexican restaurant. Hibachi Japanese. There's a hibachi Japanese restaurant. In terms of hibachi restaurants that I've been to in my life, all jokes aside, this was one of the better mm -hmm. hibachi experiences. Yeah, I mean, it was the basic hibachi dance. That one is reservation based though. And the French place, you have to remember, you have to make reservations. Plus the French place is adult only. So what do you give the food on a scale of one to 10? I'd give it like a nine. It's still up there and you have to get the mushroom soup at the Italian place. If you don't, I'm upset. I would also give it a 9 out of 10. We have to not think of drinks as like drinks you would get at a regular bar. You have to think of drinks as drinks you would get at an all-inclusive. Most, if not all, all-inclusives will give you drinks that are like at the bottom of the shelf. They're not going to give you top shelf stuff. And they're not going to give you the patrol. They're not gonna give you the Johnny Walker. Don Julio. They're not gonna give you Grey Goose. I cannot, could not be happier with the drinks we got at the Majestic Elegant. Everything we wanted was available and there wasn't an upcharge. If you want a Johnny Walker Black, you can get it. If you want a Patron in your shots, it was all inclusive. To me, the drinks were probably one of, if not my favorite part of this stay. You don't wanna spend that kind of money and then end up having to spend more to get your favorite drinks. They made some really good drinks. Yeah. There was one night where the guy made a flight mm -hmm. of drinks. Do you remember that? And he was like naming all the drinks one by one. You could tell he's made them a thousand times. Drinks, no question about it. 10 out of 10 for me. There are, yeah. <laughs> so there are eight total pools at the Majestic. We spent probably most of our, we spent probably most of our time in like two or three of them. There is a difference between the VIP pools and the family pools. The VIP have their own pool, which is adults only. So that's worth noting. There has been some criticism on the infinity pool facing back towards the hotel, as opposed to facing the ocean, which is a little weird. Infinity, I liked it though. You did? I think an infinity pool should face the ocean. I liked it because it included you in the bottom pool, which had the pool bar and like where all the activities are going on. Maybe I'm just spoiled. Super fun, lots of activities. Nine out of 10 for me. I would say nine out of 10 only because when we went in end of March, the water temperature was a bit cold, but that is not at fault of them. So you think they should have heated the pool a little bit? No, but I'm just gonna deduct a point for that. I was personally really worried about the seaweed problem. I wanna go in the water and I wanna go in the ocean. I don't, I don't wanna just look at it dive into it. This beach was very well taken care of. Every morning, they had a guy come in and sweep up all the seaweed every single morning. They took really good care of it. The cleanup crew was really strong. That's why you go to Cancun and that part of Mexico, because you want to see the Caribbean ocean and the blue ocean and the white sand. So I give the beach a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I love that beach. I would go back just for the beach, 100 out of 100 times. I, I love the gym. Yeah. I thought it was amazing equipment. It was super spacious. There weren't a lot of people in there. Uh, Cause look, you're on vacation. And if you go to the gym on vacation, then God bless you. Very luxurious gym, very yeah. clean, very clean. The machines were upscale. I give the gym a 10 out of 10. What about the spa? Let's move over to the spa. The spa was a 10 out of 10. So we did go to the spa. We decided to treat ourselves. Um, we spent $300 for the two of us, so $150 per person. And what we got for that was two hours each. The first hour was a hydrotherapy session, and the second hour was the massage. The hydrotherapy session was really, really cool. That might have been my favorite part. I think I might even like that more than the massage. I thought I was going to die in that yeah. I was so hungover. We walk out and there's a person waiting for us. They're almost like your spa concierge. All in all, that cave was absolutely gorgeous. You look up and it's just like beautiful sky. It's, it's indoor, but it's also kind of outdoor. And then they make you do a cold plunge. That was my first ever cold plunge in my entire life. Uh, so then after an hour of hydrotherapy, you go get your massage. And again, they just take you up, super nice people. They take you up to the room. We had a couple's massage. Yeah. I would recommend bringing an extra bathing suit or yes. like a change of undergarments. 
This man bought one pair for the entire trip. Guilty. So, spa experience, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Wowzers. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the Majestic Elegance. I feel like it's always, <laughs> it's always a risk when you've never been somewhere and you have to rely on other people's reviews. The word I would use is exquisite. I would say the intended audience for the Majestic is probably more of a romantic, couple-y sort of vibe. Even though you, you could bring your kids and you could certainly have a family experience, I would say it's a little bit more on the romantic side. And I would also argue that if you're looking for like the super crazy blowout spring break mm -hmm. party vibe, probably not your scene. Or you can go on like a girl's trip. They just thought of a running club. Mm -hmm. Usually when you go to Mexico, there's like the vendors that come up on the beach. Yes. Which didn't really happen besides one. To the majestic elegance. We will be back. We will be back. And the service at the beach was so good. Yeah. That guy was quick. Yeah. I don't know if that was just that guy or if everyone is like that, but our guy was really fast. We passed out on Saturday, on, was it Sunday night? Just super early, but I feel like if we stayed up, the karaoke would have been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I just can't stay up that way. Yeah. Because we were there just- It was a guacamole and cooking class. I just didn't ask for the questions. You didn't ask for the questions on the guacamole and cooking class? I don't class. like guacamole. Damn it.